We are, to, we are going to divert quickly over to Westminster Abbey. We will be coming back to Victoria later on the show and hearing more about what's happening down the King's Road. But Nadine Doris, Talk TV presenter, has had an invite to come to this event. She is standing live, looking absolutely resplendent in a nude, nude hat, a new fascinator <laughs> this morning in a white coat. Nadine, looking gorgeous. Uh, tell, us, tell, us, tell, us, tell us how you got, got invited. I've got Nadine with me, and there's a whole crowd here. We're in Westminster Hall at the moment, and Connor Burns. And we're all about to be marshalled over. So yeah, it's very exciting. Great atmosphere here at the moment. It, it is. And tell us how you, 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 you got invited as part of being part of the Privy Council. I'm a Privy Councillor, yeah. How, and what does that and mean to the general public? We've got the carriage behind us. Can you see that? Yes, so, indeed. Um, so the, there are, yeah, Privy Councillors, it's a really special and very privileged role to hold. You get sworn in by, I was sworn in by the Queen or you get sworn in by the King. The Privy Councillor was historically the Council of Advisors to previous Kings and Queens. So, yeah, you, Donna. So, so can I just ask you, Nadine, just in terms of you being there, we've talked a lot about the fact that uh, there are only 80 MPs and Lords out of, what, 1,400. So, therefore, lots of them are feeling a little bit uh, a myth that they're not uh, there. Also, we heard from Lord Carrington saying he's jolly pleased he's found his ermine, that uh, it hasn't been eaten by moths. Is there real excitement amongst the peers? Is there real excitement amongst their Members of Parliament as well? Yeah, the peers look wonderful, actually. It's the first time I've seen robes up close. And they, they have their robes. I can sneakily see a few behind me. They, um, the robes look absolutely stunning. So I think it's right that they were able to wear their robes. But I'll tell you what, it means they didn't have to worry about what they were going to buy to wear because it completely covers up what they've got on underneath. So they could be in their pyjamas under those robes. Who wouldn't know? Uh, <laughs> and, Nadine, hey, we were hearing from Kate McCann, our political editor on the programme, about some of the tussle that's been going on in Westminster about who got an invite and who didn't. Obviously, it's a slimmed down a coronation. So do you feel particularly lucky to be there? Yeah, I mean, people are here in different capacities. Some, you know, the Attorney General's here, I think. The um, Cabinet Secretaries are here. Um, I've just been with Jimmy Keegan and a few others. They're here. Um, and there was, I think, the number of us who aren't holding Cabinet roles or other positions are... I don't know, how many of us are there? 30, maybe? So, yeah, I, I feel very honoured and very privileged. And it's, you know, it's got the buzz of a wedding. It's really quite odd. It feels like, it feels like we're about to go to a huge wedding or something. It's... Lovely atmosphere. Well, well, Nadine, we have to do you justice. I believe we've got pictures of you in your full outfit, which we hope we can... That's my daughter this morning. Well, 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 we need to make sure... I mean, look at this. What a fantastic and sensational outfit. Um, obviously fit for a coronation, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Definitely. Very lovely and beautifully modelled as well, didn't you think? Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. you. look great. You look great, Nadine. Thank you. Later. We, want, we wish you a wonderful day, Nadine. I'm sure we'll get a wrap-up from you later. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the celebration. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.